It has been an extraordinary week, and we are absolutely electrified by the energy that we are coming here with and by the uh, extraordinary validation of this campaign's vision that we had in Iowa on Monday. I'm also mindful and humbled by the fact that New Hampshire is New Hampshire. <laughs> and New Hampshire is not the kind of place to let Iowa or anybody else tell you what to do. We're Matt, and I'm passionate about health care. My husband battled cancer. The reality is our country's got a long way to go when it comes to doing right by those who serve and doing right by those who serve both during and after their time on active duty. I've been reminded that in the conversations that I have had with veterans of each generation across New Hampshire. Because the people who put on the uniform of this country will do whatever is required and expected of them by the United States of America. That is why they deserve both during and after their time of service the support, the respect, and the care of a commander-in-chief who knows what it means to hold a set of orders in your hand and will never let our veterans down. A state that lives by the motto of live free or die. We need to suspend student loan repayment for spouses who are experiencing unemployment because of the moving around that they have had to do because they are married to somebody in the service of this country. Just one example of the steps we could take to better honor that service. Very much in need of growing its population recognizes that and makes a choice uh, to welcome more than its... When it comes to sexual assault, this is not something that should be handled by short-circuiting the process. There must be a, an official, a legal process for dealing with that that takes it out of the chain of command and puts it in the hands of prosecutors who can do the right job of ensuring that there is accountability. All right, we will try to get a microphone to you uh, from one of our campaign team members.